I'm here with one of the true legends of metal. What's your name? I am Thor, the Rock Warrior. Holy cow, I'm actually meeting Thor. Keep the dogs away. That's right. Wow. So, what are you doing here in Chicago, Thor? We're doing a concert here at the Bottom Lounge tonight. Wow. And we're going to rock the city. Wow. So you've been doing music and movies lately. I sure have, one after the other, churning them out. So tell us about your latest album. The latest album is called Thor Against the World. And I'm going to tour the world right now. We're doing starting off with 50 cities in North America, and we're promoting the new album. Wow, I didn't even know there were 50 cities in North America. You didn't, huh? No. Well, how much you think there were? I don't know. It's one big city, right? Well, I'm not, yeah. That's what's happened to me. They're blurring into one big They're city. They're blurring. I don't know where I am. Well, why are you against the world? You seem kind of nice. Yeah, well, it's it's not that I'm against the world. I'm I'm I'm. It's like with the world, but there's all these things going on in the world that you have to go against. Like you got to knock brick walls down, and you got to believe in yourself and keep on going. So that's what I'm talking about. The everyday life. Speaking of knocking brick walls down, you're really strong, right? That's right. I'm pretty strong. See these arms? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. So I hear that in your rock concerts you do feats of mighty strength. That's right. You know what I, when my first feat of strength, I bite into a steel bar and I chomp it down and I bend it. Whoa. And then what else do you do? Well, I'm, uh, I'm also known as the ear man. What's that mean? That means I bite ear. Ah! Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm, it's okay. I didn't mean to do that. Other things I do, I blow up and explode hot water bottles and bombs. Wow. wow. Smash bricks on my head and my chest. Wow. All sorts of crazy things. And all the while singing songs. Singing the tune, yep. Wow, that's awesome. Now, I also hear that uh, you got a new movie coming out. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, see here, my new movie. It's called Intercessor, Another Rock and Roll Nightmare. And is it about t-shirts? It's all about, yeah, these zombie t-shirts that attack oh. me, right? So, what happens in that movie? What do you do? Uh, in this movie, I play a character called the Intercessor, who's a, a creature who's given a mask by the space gods, and he's got the mask of power, and he's got to save the last two innocent souls left on Earth. Hey, I just noticed you uh, talk a little different. Are you from Canada? Canada. Uh, actually, wow. actually, I live both in the United States and Canada. Wow! You're you're like a god of dual citizenship. Of dual citizenship. There you go. So wow. uh, I, I enjoy both these beautiful countries. Now, I have another question. Do you have a message for the kids in Chicago? Yes, I have a message. Always believe in yourself and keep on rocking. Yeah!
himself Thor, the king of Muscle Rock. But he's really 25-year-old Vancouverite John Mickle from Eric Hamber's secondary, who has come home with a rock and roll act he hopes will make him rich and famous. Right now, he's a curiosity piece, packing them in at Fram's in the Fraser Arms Hotel. John has already won the Mr. Canada and Mr. USA bodybuilding titles. Now he's sort of a male Dolly Parton. His stage act includes several strongman feats. For starters, Thor blows up an ordinary hot water bottle until it bursts in his face. He says, I know it's a crazy way to make a living, but I bet Donny Osmond can't do it. Thor's show is based on rock and roll fantasy. There's even a skit where a hard hat attacks Thor as the god of thunder, stacks cement blocks in his chest, then goes after him with a pneumatic drill. Thor's strength on stage is not faked. He can also bend a solid steel bar between his teeth. has recorded one nearly gold album for RCA called Keep the Dogs Away. The songs are simple but catchy, although critics love doing numbers on him. One said his voice sounds like the grunts at the end of a workout, and his rhythm reminds one of dumbbells dropping. A Toronto critic complained that Thor's voice sounds like the before in a muffler commercial. Person, John Mickle isn't anything like you'd expect. He's a soft-spoken, polite young man who wishes people wouldn't automatically assume he's a jerk. He doesn't take himself too seriously, and he's been having fun ever since public school when he used to come to classes as Popeye with a spinach can. Thor was one of my favorite heroes. You know, like when I was a kid, I used to go to school dressed up as uh, Superman one day and Flash Gordon the next, you know. And, Thor was another one of my heroes, and I always wanted to be like a superhero, and, uh, you know, so I thought, well, you know, since I got in the rock and roll business, and I was with a number of different groups, that Thor would be a good name. It's thunderous, and it's to do with rock and roll, and, you know, so I came up with Thor, and i uh, been parading around in tights and capes ever since. You know? And right now, ladies and gentlemen, one of the most talked about acts on the strip to perform his muscle rock here is the strongman star of the Aladdin Hotel's Red Hot and Blue Show, Mr. John Thor. John? Hey. So you think you'll take another piece of me to satisfy your intellectual need? Well, you push me down and turn me around. You always make me feel like a bloody clown. Some main attraction. 